Hi, my name is Kathy Wierpinski, and I'm here to teach you how to make a Polish puppet theater. Uh, in Poland, in Polish, uh, a puppet theater is called a szopka. Many of them are called szopki, and you have the information about the, the background here on your instruction sheet. One thing I like to say is that I learned about this from a very distant cousin who herself is a retired art teacher. So in your szopka uh, kit you have you have the detailed instructions you have sample uh, drawings of a um, shop guy have just here a horizontal version you have an 8 by 10 art board you have a sheet each of blue paper and of brown paper you have decorative scraps and small shiny papers by the way uh, a lot of these papers are from candy wrappers, which is what they use in Poland when they make their own uh, structural versions. Um, and I also have uh, decorative pieces from a Kleenex box, etc. I also have wax paper in your kit, glue, a small glue bottle, and a tiny little tub of glitter. So let's get started. Uh, we have here the the brown the blue paper, and what we're going to do very uh, as our first step is we're going to glue that blue background paper on your wonderful artboard. I just discovered these recently, and I'm crazy about them. So you're going to put just a little bit of glue all the way around the edge. That's all you need. You don't need globs of glue. Just a little bit, just to secure that blue background paper. And I like to use um, wax paper to smooth it out so I don't get glue on my hands and I'm not picking up pieces of paper with uh, my gluey fingers. So this is what your background will look like. You're going to, you can see that this shape is almost like a, uh, a three layer cake. And uh, what I would encourage you to do is to experiment maybe with a piece of scrap paper before you cut into your brown paper. So if you have some scrap paper laying around the house um, or in your recycle box, measure it against your artboard. This is 8 by 10. And then experiment. So this is the ultimate shape that you want to get. Um, and it's real easy to cut because once you've done an experiment, you um, fold your brown paper and you draw that step pattern and when you open it up it'll look like this okay and you're going to take that paper and you're going to put it right here in the middle of your artboard with your nice blue background and we're going to do dots here. So that's to get it started. And this is just simply to give you the background of your chopka. This is an example of um, a finished one where you can see that the brown paper just provides the structure as if it were the, the bricks of the building. And incidentally, I've got some other ones here that I did on a, um, a different kind of paper. But I settled on this for this project because I like working with the firm surface. So looking at the template, I got ideas of uh, how to make windows, how to do a tower, how to do the stage how to do a round space. I might put a clock there and then our um, Polish eagle on top. And so I drew these with just with a light pencil touch. I looked at this and I drew it here. It doesn't have to be exact. You can come up with your own ideas. And I drew some windows over here. I drew the stage. Got the round part here and I Barely have enough room for my little red eagle, but we're gonna we're gonna make it work. So I look through the papers here, 
<coughs> excuse me, and I see that I just have a variety of papers, and you, every kit is different, so if you're doing this project with a friend, you'll see that your papers will be a little different from your friends, or maybe you're doing, doing it with your grandma, or your mom, or your dad. Um, so here we have some papers that I've cut out with the main floor. And we're going to put in the door. It's going to go right here in the middle. And again, you're just going to put a few little dabbles of glue there. Put that right there. And we're going to put in these these windows here on this side. It's just a little look at how that glittery paper just gives it such personality. And here I have a little strip of Christmas wrapping paper that I just couldn't bear to throw away and I'm going to put that right underneath those beautiful blue windows. green windows here on this side. And we pat it. There's some more of that Christmas wrapping paper. lovely little things. I'm just going to let that go for now. Um, here's where that wax paper comes in handy. You put that down like this and then you can just smooth over it so you get a nice tight seal. So there you have uh, your main floor. Then we're moving on to the second floor where we have the stage and some towers bring this out here and let's see what we've got okay so let me see second floor whoops it's the third floor here we've got the second floor and uh, you know just picking through my papers I found I had this which was this decorative paper and you have some other decorative papers that you can use as I say everybody's kit is just a little bit different so um, if you're doing this with a friend or family member, you'll find that um, everybody's kit's going to be just a little bit different. And I've got this uh, glued. I'm going to put this right on top of it, this little piece of white paper. Like that. Make yourself a nice little stage for your folks to do their performance. Here, I'm going to trim off that white. And this paper, um, you know, if you don't do it right the first time, you can always use some scrap paper that you happen to have in your recycle box at home. And we're going to put this right over here. A lot of cutting with this project. Okay, so there's the stage. Now we're going to do some towers. Put a tower over here and a tower over here. Again, you don't need a lot. 
don't need a lot of glue and I've got a little bit too much there so I can just kind of dab some up here and put that like that. Pat that down a bit with my wax paper. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the same thing with this, with these big windows. I'm just going to, see I got a little bit too much glue there, so I'm going to pick up a little bit from this other window. that right there, that one right there, and look at this. I found some papers that had these little leaf designs, and I thought, you know what? Those will look very nice on either side of the stage. So that was kind of a nice little discovery. Again, I'm going to just mop up that extra there. wax paper again. Here we've got <clears throat> Should I do yes, I think I'm gonna put it in it. Okay. Oh, these are little windows don't want to throw away beautiful papers and look at here this was a Kleenex box a Puffs box and look at these wonderful little trees that we can put on either side of the doorway of our fabulous puppet theater so I've got this tree right here and put her down right there and this is going to be her partner tree and she's going to go Right over here. And notice how I just want to keep putting my wax paper over to smooth it down. To smooth it down. Okay, our next step is to put tops on these little towers. Oh, I didn't put enough glue on that window. Let's see if I can hold that down. All right. Notice that these, the tops of the towers are all a little different. Some are half moons, some are triangles. Uh, you can just use your imagination, however you want to make the, the roof of the tower. A little bit too much glue here. have little flags because they are fancy buildings and fancy buildings always have little flags on top of them. There's one. There's another and this is another one of those wonderful little bits of Christmas wrapping paper that I couldn't bear to <laughs> throw away. Then you see that on some of these buildings there are clocks, others there is just a round piece. I'm going to put this round piece here uh, just to have like a little clock type space available. And of course you have to have a little bit of decoration on the other side of the clock. I had the good fortune of going to Poland a few years ago to meet my distant relatives and I was struck by the difference in the architecture in Poland relative to the kinds of uh, old buildings that we have in the United States. They were much, ma much more ornate. Uh, now we also have got this far I'm not going 
going to decorate this with all of the um, uh, embellishments that the other um, pu puppet theaters have, but I wanted just to give you an idea of what some of the possibilities are so that you feel encouraged to make your own um, theater. On top of these theaters, often is the Polish um, eagle, the red eagle, and I'm going to draw the eagle here. And it's just a simple, it's a simple, you do the head, you do the body, you do one wing, another wing comes out like that, body, wing, out like that, and then you have the little legs, but I'm not going to do the legs because they're just too, too thin for this paper. And you cut out your eagle. When I was in Polish, Poland, I saw this red eagle everywhere. It was on symbols, on at restaurants, on flags, on official um, buildings, uh, tourist places. It's sort of like our, you know, the bald eagle is a favorite symbol of people from the United States. And um, the red eagle surely is a favorite symbol of the people from Poland. I'm cutting out, notice I'm just taking little, and I forgot to mention that when you're doing a project like this, if you happen to have small scissors, they work so much better than big scissors because there's lots of little fussy, fussy little areas that you have to cut around. Okay, we're going to put that right on top here. We're going to have to make a nice little pole for our dear eagle to stand on. Let's see what we got here. And then we're going to put this here to seal it down a bit. Now the door to this fancy theater, I am doing with a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use the black crayon, you can use a um, ballpoint pen, but you notice how the door is kind of fancy, so we're going to curve around like this. And we're going to put a middle part like so. And then we're going to have these fancy pieces of metal. And we're going to kind of curl it around here, curl it there. And put some handles on. And of course we have to put more decoration, right? You just can't let it go like that without a little bit more decoration. So I'm going to cut just a little bit of this um, candy paper. Okay, just a little dot there and another dot there. And put these little itty bitty pieces in the corners just to make that door look a little fancier. Again, put my wax paper on, pat it down. <clears throat> and here we have one last little bit. Of course, these are puppet theaters, and so we have some little puppets here. And you're going to just draw the little background here first, lightly with. <coughs> excuse me. Um, and our little people, 
We're going to have the gentleman draw his head, draw his jacket, draw his pants, draw his boots, one hand out here, another hand out here. It's just a very simple little a simple little drawing. You don't have to draw the face, but you want to give him a wonderful little hat with a tassel on it. You can see that. Hat with a tassel. And we're going to draw his dancing partner, and she's going to be wearing a kerchief because in the old days, women wore a, a scarf around their head. I remember my grandmother wearing a scarf like that when she had to work in the garden. And drawing the same thing, the oval for the head a little puppy skirt for her and of course she's wearing little black boots because you know she goes outside and she doesn't want to get her feet wet draw the back I'm not going to color this in as I have here but this gives you an idea how to do it if you decide you want to do a clock the easy way to do a clock is you do a dot in the middle 12 on the bottom uh, 12 on the top rather 6 on the bottom Three, nine, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to say, oh, right now it's 11.30, so I'm going to put this clock at 11.30. All right, we're almost done with our creation. Of course, no puppet theater is complete without a little bit of glitter. So, we're going to do little dabs of glue. Ooh, that's a little bit too big. Dab there, dab there, dab there, dab there. Just little dabs. Got a little, little tub of glitter in your package, and we're gonna just put. Hmm, let me see if I can use one of these as like a little scooper. Hold that paper and scoop out the glitter. Oh wait, forgot. Got to go on the cookie sheet. Otherwise you're going to have glitter all over the floor and people don't like that. Drop that glitter there. Drop the glitter there. Drop some glitter there. Drop some there. Something I forgot to mention is that an old a cookie sheet is just so handy to have all your materials on because if you need to move your project midway through, you've got them all together. And if you're going to do glitter, you just shake the glitter there. And look at that. Really transforms the project. So thank you so much for joining us.